My name is uh, Dr. Robert Ayer. I'm a neurosurgeon and I'm an expert in sacroiliac joint disorders. Joints in the body, all of them are susceptible to pain and the sacroiliac joint is really no different. It's a joint that connects the lower spine to the musculoskeletal system of the pelvis and it's a joint that's subject to, to bearing a lot of weight and in a majority of the cases it's, it's wear and tear or degeneration and inflammation that uh, causes the pain. In general I think about 15 to 30 percent of patients who are told to have low back pain or who think their pain is coming from their low back actually have a sacroiliac disorder and their pain is actually coming from the sacroiliac joint. When patients are describing their pain, um, they use the words low back pain, but they often point to a very specific location in their lower back. The pain is typically exacerbated with transitional movements, such as getting out of bed or walking up and down stairs. Uh, patients often describe discomfort when sitting down. Um, they have to lean to one side. If the right SI joint hurts, they're typically leaning to their left. Oftentimes it's easier to diagnose low back pain because there's very obvious visual abnormalities on x-rays, CTs, and MRIs. Very frequently the SI joint radiographically looks normal. So you really have to depend on the history and some physical exam findings. And oftentimes it's not something that's often quickly recognized, diagnosed, and treated. Uh, we also include diagnostic injections where we inject the joint with steroids and local anesthetic to see if that can mitigate the patient's pain. When I treat SI joint disorder surgically, I use the SI bone IFU system. That's a system that's, in my mind, been the most uh, thoroughly studied. I consider it a minimally invasive surgery. Uh, it involves a small incision, two to three inches maximum. And typically we place three implants um, that's been found to provide the most stabilization for the joint. In most cases, it takes roughly an hour. Many patients go home the same day or the next day. And then most are resuming full activity. If they're involved in athletics, uh, they can usually get back within a couple months. I'd be, like to be one of those doctors who can help guide you through the process and get you relief. Anyone who believes they're suffering from SI joint pain can get in contact with me by calling my office or requesting an appointment online.